Hi there, it's me. Um, today I want to talk about success is not binary. I've been going through this um, process and this journey of, you know, publishing a book and putting it out there in the universe and launching this podcast and talking to new people and people that have known me for a very long time. And I have found the reaction to these two initiatives, as well as things that are happening in uh, our world with clients, very interesting of late. I have noticed a deep-seated shift in how people receive success of others. And I thought it would be a good topic of conversation to talk about how and why we find ourselves in the position of not being happy for others that are doing things that make them happy or that they're achieving or that they're succeeding and or they're accomplishing their goals and how we as humans respond to other people in that way. And I, what I have found is that there's a deep-seated human condition, and I was talking to my girlfriend Karen about this last night, about how the human condition is to not necessarily be happy for somebody that is happy. And that I think is a really, for me, it's problematic and sad, but the idea that because somebody succeeds, you don't fail. You have to sort of wrap your brain around the fact that one person's success is not another person's failure. And that both people in a relationship, in an office, in a company, multiple people in a company can all be successful. It is not because one department is killing it and achieving their goals that another department fails at theirs. It is not because your spouse is killing it and doing well that you are a failure. It is not because your friend is getting a claim and recognition that you are not good enough. So we, I think we want to just separate and distinguish success as, as, a, as a way of being, as a state of mind, as a thing that challenges our narrative. So why is it that this triggers an innate un discomfort, an innate jealousy, envy? What's the word here? What is it about somebody else succeeding that makes somebody question their success? I don't know. So I've been struggling with this question this week and last week and the week before and wondering why that is. And then I noticed the behavior in certain client meetings where there would be some corporate infighting on the call between departments and between positions and so on, because it seemed that inherently somebody felt threatened by somebody else's success. So I just want to bring it up there and have you, the listener, think about a, a moment in time recently where this has been the case for you and, and ask yourself, were you the recipient or the sender of the message that had somebody else be triggered or confronted with themselves and how that felt both as the recipient and the giver of a message that was perceived in a way that you didn't want it to be. Now, again, as I always like to talk about you can say something and somebody makes it mean something else. And that's fine. That's, that's, that happens all the time. I talk about it in my book. When somebody in a meeting makes a face while you're presenting, that doesn't mean they hate your, they hate your presentation. It could mean that they have gas from spicy food that they ate for lunch. So let's not overthink what it is that is happening. But I do think it's worth examining what, why we as humans respond to certain things. So Something to think about would be how it is that you share your information and how it is that you receive other people's and ask yourself why it is that it would be received in a certain way by you. What is it happening inside of you that has you be, have that reaction, whether it's good or bad or positive or negative or collaborative or non-collaborative. You just want to pause and just observe and notice, as they say in yoga, what's going on with you that has that reaction happen. So really, that's it. It's a quick, you know, um, 
consider the possibilities today. It's this idea that success is not binary, that you know, we don't necessarily have to follow the narrative that somebody else's success means that it's our failure. So just notice it for yourself the next time a situation like this happens and notice for yourself what your reaction to these situations are and whether or not you want some agency and control over that reaction that is happening for you and with you. And with that, I leave you. Have a lovely, wonderful of your week. And thank you for tuning in to consider the possibilities. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you.